Here's the thing, even if you put on your best shirt or wear your favorite shoes to impress your date, there are still things you're missing out. I bet you're in need of some tips from a woman regarding another woman. So here I am, revealing to you what does a woman first notices in you, and I will leave it up to you to give her a good first impression especially if you're looking for more, translate it the way you want. Don't worry, it's quite easy. Remember, the first impression really counts. 1. The body, the height. Your muscular arms and strong forearms are the first general assessment before knowing your personality. This is the first thing which captivates her the moment you enter the place. Take for instance Olive, she got attracted to Popeye when he ate spinach and his muscles grew stronger. Take Johnny Bravo, although there was plenty of empty room in his brains, his muscles did the job. As for the body hair, unfortunately most women don't get allured by the heavy-haired man body. But look at the bright side, when I say most women, I mean there are few women who find men with haired bodies more manly, you never know what runs in a woman's imagination. They say size doesn't matter, I tell you it does and you know it. But wait, I'm talking about the height, don't let your thoughts fool you, hee <laughs> hee. Although the physical stature is not the primary reason for her to build a future with you, but sad to say, what she first sees in you is your height and silhouette. You might tell me that a man's soul defies his appearance, and you're right, but not before their first meeting. Women don't seek much a short man, unless they like to look dominant in public. In addition, being a tall man is more attractive, you can't skip seeing him among a huge crowd anyway. 2. The smile, the lips, the teeth. Those are among the most attractive traits in you. If your lips are inviting, a woman's mind will embroider a love story with those as the main character. Clean teeth should be among the top qualities in a man which captivate a woman's attention. If your teeth are not well maintained, in color or tidiness, it's a big red flag for her. So don't forget to check them constantly before going out, depending on your daily menu ingredients. In addition, and thanks to brilliant minds, whitening of the teeth can now be done at home. So go ahead and fix your posture if you really want to have her by your side. And the smile. Ah, the charming smile. She can fall for you during the first few minutes if you show her your accommodating and comforting smile. But she might also wish she has never met you if your smile gives her the vibe of arrogance and hostility. Will women dream of a kiss from your lips? Yes. Will they wait to see your smile with those cute dimples? Yes. 3. Scars, Tattoos. Linking tattoos to badass? Yes we do. But there's a thin line between a sexy badass and the world map. For men with tattoos covering their whole body, it is not hot and sexy. The well taken care of skin is much appreciated for women. Why cover that nice part of you with tattoos? As for scars, some are desirable on a man's skin, depending on where it is. I mean on his forehead, eyebrow, or upper lip is so darn seductive. 4. The watch, the accessories. Wearing the right watch reflects a part of your personality signifying that you don't settle for anything. I don't mean you have to pay thousands of dollars for a watch to attract women, if you can, why not? You just have to be trendy and get the watch that suits you. These days, I'm noticing that most men are wearing smart watches and it's kinda fashionable and cool. But wearing it with every occasion on any kind of wear style, nope my dear man. Differentiate between styles. As for the accessories, don't push it to the extreme. A nice trendy bracelet and fashionable jewelry, a ring, a necklace, usually looks stylish on a man's hand if the hand is suitable for such accessories. 5. The style. Your outfit gives her the first impression about your style. And we are all aware that some women like elegant men in a suit, others prefer trendy torn jeans with a simple t-shirt. Christian Grey didn't get famous among women for no reason, and yes, it all started with the powerful suit, and the sexy sunglasses. You can have any style but please watch out for the colors. Wearing wine pants with a green top is not okay. 6. The eyes. I'm not just talking about the color or the style of the eyes. Women melt for expressive eyes. Don't forget, we read you from the uttering looks in those eyes of yours. You can't hide much your thoughts and feelings when it comes to her. So be careful, try to be genuine. You might fall for a clever woman who will realize your motives right away. If your motives are not suitable for her needs, then farewell castles in the clouds. If you liked the video so far and want to know about the scientific content of relationship, don't forget to subscribe. 7. Hands and Nails. If you think having hands that look like you've been digging in mud can make you look more manly, well you're wrong. But if you think that having hot veiny man hands is attractive considering that it is a fetish for some women, if not most, then you're right. Your manly hands can awaken her hidden fantasies, providing protection, comfort, let's not forget a good grip in bed. As for the nails, 
If you've had a bad day repairing the plumbing at your house or had to fix a flat tire, make sure to clean your hands well. It's not necessary to show everyone how you spent your day. Leave no trace especially under your nails. Most of all, keep them short. Rarely will a woman enjoy your long nails. All we think of when imagining your long nails on our skin is O-U-C-H. So no, it's not a trend, and no, it's not sexy. 8. The accent, way of talking. When we say Italian, women fall apart. Don't you think the accent is one of the reasons? And the way they talk. Shoot me, the real English accent is also provocative. But don't ever fake your accent. Nope, this is a turn-off for a woman. It gives her negatives vibes of you showing off and lying, and who appreciates lying. 9. Personal hygiene, scent and fragrance. Who can object on the importance of the scent of a man passing next to a woman? And who can ignore the nice fragrance of a man? I do believe that some fragrances are aphrodisiac. When a man's sexy scent dances its way through my nose, it unconsciously spins my head around. I don't mean the Pepe Le Pew scent, I'm sure women were attracted first to James Bond because of his erotic perfume. 10. Communication skills, sense of humor. Watching a man entertaining a crowd and leading the conversation is fascinating to women. No need to be a stand-up comedian, a witty joke from time to time is most welcomed, mark my word. On the other hand, his way of talking to the waitress slash waiter is taken into consideration. By that I mean shouting, I waitress, hey you over there, is not advised. It shows how demeaning his treatment is. For the lady accompanying him, you either turn your head around and don't risk looking back at him, or if you're on a date with him, wrap up your dinner quickly and give him the don't call me, I'll call you, statement. 11. The shoes. The style of your shoes are not as important as its condition. Always wear the right shoes for the right occasion, and don't forget to keep it polished and tidy, women appreciate cleanliness. Dorothy in Wizard of Oz was famous for the shiny shoes, keep that in mind. 12. The self-confidence. The way you move through a crowded room, the effect you have on your surroundings. Women find comfort around a confident man. Remember, generally speaking, women interpret your vibes and personality during the first few minutes you meet. Show your James Bond side, keep away the Samwell Tarly in you, Games of Thrones. But being self-confident doesn't come with Amazon. You have a acquire it in time. 13. The sound of the voice. I don't envy men with a soft pitch voice. Although it's beyond your control being born with this voice tone, but unfortunately, women are mostly attracted to men with deep toned voices. They find it masculine and assertive. Listening to the voice of Doctor Strange is soothing. 14. Old-fashioned manners, the hand greeting. No matter how beliefs are changing from generation to another, women still like the man with old-fashioned manners and see him as a gentleman. Yes, sadly these days, being gallant is considered old-fashioned. These include dressing to impress, leaving his mobile aside when he's in public, improvising the first step to meet a lady, nowadays. Men wait for her to do the first step, standing up when she passes, and not acting as if all he wants is to get into her pants. We call this chivalry, and I hope some of you guys have heard of it. As for the handshake, if you shake her hand firmly, not hardly, there's a big difference between the two, it shows confidence in women like a confident man. I just noticed that after each element, I'm always ending up with the self-confident, strange. I am Majid2006, thank you for watching the video till the end, now, if you want to be successful in romantic relationships and know more, subscribe to my channel I made many tutorials for you I will kiss you, my dear.